those fires out! Did you think to take any extinguishers when you stole the ship? Blast! Outlander! You're up! See what you can do with this thing. That's two more shuttles you owe me. You didn't even own this one. It really shouldn't count. It was mine when it crashed. It counts. Quiet. There could be anything out here. Well, there's wild animals, angry exiles, ungrateful rescuees. The point is a good one. Fine, fine. Anything on your sensors? Confirmation. I have detected a large metallic object nearby. Analysis suggests a technological construct, but there are no energy readings. Whatever it is, it's got better chances of flying than this thing. Engine's fried to a crisp. Skytroopers won't be far behind us. We need to hide the evidence of our landing. I'll scavenge you, Barry. Just like Aaron Prime. We know they're coming. Rig the shuttle to explode when they get close. They'll search more slowly once they're worried about traps. Not a bad thought. I'll see what I can do. I know you have more questions than answers, but we should really keep moving. I promise I'll tell you everything I can as soon as we're safe. Enthusiasm. Shall we investigate the technological object? I believe I can guide us to its location. Very well. Admiration. It is a great pleasure to witness your skills firsthand, Master. Master? Clarification. Master Benico altered my programming before we secured your release. I am to serve you with the same unexcelled loyalty with which I serve her. In fact, your survival is now my highest priority. If I'm your highest priority, does that mean you obey me above Lana or Koth? Caveat. I cannot accept any order from you that would directly endanger Masters Benico or Vortana. Otherwise, I am at your full disposal. Do I have the authority to modify that programming? Contradiction. Yes. Oddly enough, you do. Though I can't imagine why you might wish to. When it comes to my orders, you will remove all safeguards. You will obey me, no matter what. And you won't tell anyone about this change. Reprioritization. I have altered my programming accordingly, Master. Resumption. Shall we continue? Is this the object you picked up on your sensors? Confirmation. Yes, Master. A closer scan suggests that this object has been here for several centuries. Centuries? Of all the junk out here, you had to find the antique. Observation. Visible design elements do not match any from Zakulan culture, antique or modern. Not from Zakul. Could it be? He doesn't overthink things. <laughs> Do you have any idea what this is? I'd say it's a completely worthless hunk of junk. It might shelter us from rain, at least. This is the Gravestone! This was the only ship that ever went up against the Eternal Fleet and won! 
Do you have any idea how long people have been looking for this thing? And we just happened to stumble upon it. You said the ship went up against the Eternal Fleet and won. But it's rusting in a swamp while the fleet is still around. The fleet is even older than Valkyria. Maybe even older than Zakul. The battles happened centuries ago. Nobody knows the details of the whole war, but every story talks about the Gravestone. One ship with the firepower to take on the Eternal Fleet. This is fate. We get your Outlander. Find exactly the weapon we need. We're going to win this thing, Lana. It's destiny. It's certainly no coincidence, but destiny? I think there's something else going on here. I'm with Lana. Destiny is a bedtime story. Believe what you want. I'll take what fate sends my way. Let's have a look inside, huh? Assessment. Nearby signs of animal activity suggest local predators may be using this wreck as a nesting ground. Caution is advised. We'll split up. Deal with any wildlife, then regroup to plan our next move. When Darth Maul and I faced Valkorion, we knew right away. He was the Sith Emperor, Lana. I know. When he was struck down, it released ripples through the Force. Everyone who had felt the Sith Emperor's presence in the past, on Zyost, on Yavin 4, we all sensed what had happened. Arkan invaded soon after, claiming that an Outlander had assassinated his father, the immortal Emperor. It didn't take long for us to unravel the truth. Which side did Arkan attack first? Both. Ships from the Eternal Fleet struck at shipyards and rallying points for both sides simultaneously. They favored ambush tactics throughout the war. Zakulan sensor technology has far greater range than our own, and their ships can fly much further on less resources. Only vessels retrofitted with Isotope 5 could manage to outrun them. None could truly compete. How long did the Republic and the Empire manage to hold out? Within three months, the bulk of our naval forces were disabled or eliminated, and the Republic was in the same situation. With naval superiority, Arkan's forces could begin choking off supply lines, trade, any ship travel at all. The Eternal Fleet seemed to be everywhere at once. Coruscant and Drom and Kars were blockaded by the end of the first year. How did it end? The members of the Dark Council fought Arkan's invasion ruthlessly and lost. The Empire's treaty was ultimately negotiated by the Minister of Logistics. Chancellor Suresh also refused to discuss surrender, but the Republic Senate managed to overrule her. A cadre of senators negotiated their own ceasefire terms. All of those senators have since been disgraced or dismissed. I'm sure you can imagine the likely culprit. And what about the Jedi Order? I know that they suffered heavy losses, but that's the extent of my information. I've sent agents to find out more, but none have returned. I wish I had more to tell you. So far, the treaties with Zakul have held. But that will not last forever. A freshwater spring. It should be safe for drinking. So the Eternal Fleet overwhelmed both the Republic and the Empire. What was the result? Both sides are forced to pay a heavy tribute to Zakul, mainly raw materials and resources. They're also held under an arms limitation statute. The Empire and the Republic are both breaking it, of course, but they're still incapable of challenging the throne directly. Who's in charge of the Republic now? Suresh reached the end of her term limits recently, but her replacement is a carefully selected puppet. She still runs things, even if she isn't officially the Chancellor anymore. And the Empire? Only one member of the Dark Council remained after the chaos. Darth Asina. She now rules as Empress of the Sith. 
Both sides see this only as an opportunity to eliminate one another at a time of weakness, instead of combining what strength they have. Arkhan does nothing to prevent violence between them, so long as their tribute is paid and no one challenges Zakul's superiority. Even after all this time, Suresh is ruining the Republic. Something needs to be done. Suresh and her lackeys aren't our most urgent concern. Their resources can't help us. Not yet. Powerful Zakulan battle stations have been placed in orbit around key worlds to watch for possible uprisings. But there are no ongoing planetary occupations. The ships of the Eternal Fleet simply patrol at random, while the tribute paid to Zakul gradually chokes all economic potential. What about my team? My ship? I have allies looking for them as we speak. With all of the chaos of the last few years, though, it will take time to find them all. For now, we make do with ourselves, Koth, and HK. As long as you're here, there's nothing we can't handle. The feeling's mutual. It truly is a relief to see you again. Is that why you went to so much trouble to rescue me? Before you were captured, you accomplished things no one else dared to attempt. You changed the galaxy more than once. And if things have ever needed to change, now is the time. But... There is something else. I've felt it since the moment I found you in Carbonite. There's a power in you. Something new. It's elusive, but I know it's there. I don't know what you're talking about, Lana. I'm the same now as I was when they froze me. Something is different. I'm sure of it. But for now, I'm just relieved to have you back with us. The water was our last necessity. Shall we return? Salutation. It is a pleasure to see you again so soon, Masters. I have encountered minimal resistance in my patrol. How minimal? Reassurance. Only one Sky Trooper and three local predators with poor survival instincts. Our position appears to be secure at this time, but I would still advise caution on your return trip, Masters. If you've already spotted enemy scouts, more are bound to be coming. Keep patrolling. Reassurance. I will annihilate any potential threat that approaches the gravestone. Hey there. Did you find something tasty? We definitely found something. Great! I've got a pretty good idea of the parts we'll need. Let's go see what we can find. It's destiny. I ditch all these parts before we crash, we find the gravestone, and then what do we need to get it flying? Honestly, it's plain as day. Not for Lana, though. For her, it's all just skill and luck and coincidence. I didn't come out here to philosophize. I just want to get off this planet. The sooner the better. Can't disagree with that too much. Lana's told me about all the things you've done. More than once. Half the reason I agreed to this crazy rescue was to see if you were actually real. So, I figure I know all about your past. You deserve to know mine. Lana might have told you I was the captain of a warship during Arkin's campaign against the Core Worlds. My crew and I deserted, but I'm not going to pretend we didn't do our share of damage beforehand. Just thought you should hear it from me. Lana mentioned that you deserted instead of following orders. What was the order? We were holding territory on Denon. Locals rioted and orders were to open fire until they stopped. None of us even wanted to be there. Massacring civilians? That's not how Zakul is supposed to operate. Deserting doesn't undo what you did. Make one wrong move, and I'll end you. So glad I could be honest with you. One more thing, as long as we're being honest. I know things were hairy back there, but a lot of innocent people died. A lot. That's not what I signed up for. I'm in this to save Zakul from Arkin, not to tear it down with him. I need to know that you're on board with that too. You want to help your people. I admire that. I won't let anything more happen to them. Thank you. Come on. Let's get this stuff back to the gravestone. Request. Please rendezvous 
at my current coordinates at your earliest convenience, Masters. I require assistance. Plastic droid. Save us! What the hell is going on here? What did you do to them? Protestation. I have done nothing to these pitiable meatbags, Master. They were merely bystanders when I destroyed a group of sky troopers. They requested our help in escaping the enemy's notice. Please, we are no danger to you. We were exiled for protesting Emperor Arkhan's war. We've already lost two of our friends. Please, is there anything you can do for us? We have more important things to do. Deal with your own problems. I have a bit of food on me. Here. I wish we could do more. Something else, Master? These people can identify us. Once the others are out of earshot, kill them all. Protestation? Master, I was not designed for wanton slaughter. They're a potential threat to my safety. Remember our conversation earlier? Concession. I will do as you say, Master. You sure we can make it fly again? She'll fly. Just been waiting for somebody to come along and remind her how. Let's get to work then.
questions. questions.